Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I have a really cool box that showed up and that is for the Pixel Book Go. Now this showed up in a really nice presentation with some really nice cases, a backpack and a case for it, like a sleeve, really look nice. I'll definitely show those off in my review, but I really wanted to get to the unboxing and then first impressions. Now, I haven't had a Pixel Book since the one that I got for my mom when I thought it would be very easy for her to learn and she picked it up well, and then that became my daughter's first laptop. So I'm very curious to see where Pixel Books have really come and kind of see how much I can use it as a daily driver. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Now these start at 649, however, I did get the i5 processor with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs, which is the second version up. So let me unbox this and then we will start it up and I will give you first impressions for it. So right away we have the laptop itself. And this was what I was really curious about, this kind of ridge style that I heard a lot about and was very interested to see how it was. So it really feels nice. It is still plastic, so I wasn't sure if it was rubbery. Uh, you have the rubber parts right here on the sides, but the laptop itself is still plastic right here and very lightweight. Let's see if we can do, hey, you can do the one finger open. That is nice. And it's automatically turning on, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so I guess you don't have to hit the power button on this one, just automatically turns on. And then we're going to have the type C cable. Now I heard this is actually a fast charge uh, as well. I'm curious if it has to be this one specifically. I'll have to test it out before the review, uh, but I'm curious to see how many watts it is. Let's go ahead and see because of here. I think it's gonna be a 45 watt, but I will have to look into that and see. And you got your long cable, which is nice. And let's see what kind of connections we have here. So on this side, we just have one type C connection. And on this side, we have a type C and a headphone jack. And that's it, very minimalistic. Uh, no like micro SD card or anything, or SD card for expansion. Really easy keyboard layout. I love that it has a Google Assistant key here. And let me go ahead and set this up and tell you my first impressions. All right guys, so I have to say how impressed I am how far Chrome OS has come since I've last used it as a daily driver. It is really impressive what Google has done with this. Now, a long time ago, I said Chrome OS just can't compete with Windows and Microsoft, and as well as even Apple, because it doesn't have some of the basic needs you need to be able to do. And that is first, you had Google's Office, but you I felt you always needed full Microsoft Office, just in case if you were a student or if your business required specific Excel work like mine does. But now I have all of it. I, I have all of it. Because of the Android apps, I have it fully simple and easy for those rare occasions when I do need it. Then, not to mention, I now have photo editing, audio, music making, video editing, softwares that weren't around the last time I was really trying to make this my daily driver. And now I have everything. I also even have advanced accounting software, which I felt was always a miss that both Apple and Chrome had, and I didn't know if they would ever be able to keep up, and now they do. So this is really impressive. I mean, if I need to take conference calls for work, if I need to take a voice, Google voice call, I can. If I need to sign documents, I can. This is all here, and you have social media, you have all that stuff. I even have lots of games I can play, Pretty good, honestly, because of the touchscreen application. So because it is a touchscreen, it really plays very well to it. And I really like it because it's speedy. This is the i5 processor, remember that, but it's quick and easy and everything I needed to do, it does very fast. You also have the ability to do regular websites or you can use the apps, like I said, for Netflix, 
uh, from me, at t TV, YouTube, and even have VLC player if you want to play some other kind of videos that the regular operating system can't. But I mean, all in all, I really have just everything I need here. And that is very impressive for me. As you can see, I've kind of heavy loaded my uh, menu at the bottom here just so I can quickly get to everything. But I just, I love the idea of being able to edit photos, edit videos, do all of these things that I couldn't do before in this. And with 128 gigs of storage, honestly, it's pretty decent. It's, and I will say this, like for a starter computer, I've always preferred Chrome OS to Windows because Windows with an i5 processor is gonna run a lot slower than Chrome is just because Chrome is such a light operating system. And the fact that it has all of this now is pretty impressive. The other thing I did wanna point out is the speakers. So let's go ahead and play the song that we always do. And it is really loud. So really loud, nice and crisp speakers. Honestly, I think this might be better than my Dell. Uh, so really great when it comes to it. I did want to show this though. Obviously not everything is all, you know, rainbows and hunky dory and all that kind of stuff because I didn't like just my fingers, just like, like I didn't eat before this or anything like that, but like my fingers seem to leave a oily residue. And that being said on the keyboard itself, it is very, very shallow. Like I was a little annoyed by that. Just like, I don't know how, I will see how I get used to typing on this. I feel this is more like um, a MacBook in terms of like the MacBook Air. Like people always said like, oh, those scissor keyboards or whatever. And I just, I, it's, it's very shallow compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to kind of uh, more, you know, uh, just the, the key presses. I'm gonna have to type up documents. I'm gonna type up emails and all that kind of stuff to see how it goes. But I'm very curious to see if this will indeed be better uh, than what I'm used to in terms of like, obviously it's, it's better I would say than most keyboards, but I would compare it to like a surface type keyboard where it's it's very, it's not as shallow as I would like it to be. Overall though, I do think that it's really good looking and yeah, I, I just, I'm really curious to see if I can use this as my daily driver and I'm very impressed so far by it. Let me know what you guys think. If you really are interested in getting a Chromebook, I will say this is a really good quality. Obviously there's others in the similar price range that you have to consider as well. Some that have LTE, some that have a pen, some that have, you know, all these different things. But I will say this is really solidly built. Very excited to test this out. And yeah, Google did send me this and I'm really curious to see now that I'm testing it out, if a Chromebook can be my daily driver. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.